you know, it, <sighs> thinking, looking back to your time behind bars, you mentioned trauma. What did you know? And the statistics are really depressing in terms of mental health prevalence for prisoners. What, what did you see there in terms of mental health with other inmates? I mean, you literally see individuals, right, walking around, talking to themselves, walking. You know someone is dealing with trauma because they don't take baths and they're talking to themselves, and no one is trying to reach this individual. You have staff that's right there within the institution, and you got lives that are dying and walking around that one day they might walk outside these prison walls. And no one is helping these individuals while they're in there. You got inmates, well, excuse me, I don't say inmates, but you got human beings that are walking around there that are suffering from trauma, that are trying to kill themselves, that are taking drugs to escape where they're, where they're at at the moment. And it's so, it's so heartening for people such as myself who I thought didn't have or wasn't suffering from anything, you know, because, okay, I am taking a bath or a shower every day. I'm not talking to myself every day. I'm not using drugs uh, while I'm incarcerated. I'm not trying to drink hooch while I'm incarcerated. So I'm thinking that I'm sane, but I'm only thinking that because of what I'm seeing around me every day, but not knowing that the human mind was not built for you to sit in a bathroom it's what I call those cells, were a bathroom. The human mind wasn't built for you not to know when there is light outside. The human mind wasn't built for you not to be able to see your reflection by looking at yourself in the mirror. Because when you're incarcerated, sometimes if you go to solitary confinement, they don't even have a mirror in there. They don't even have a window in there. So you don't even know who you are anymore. So you have to deal with all this compounded on the fact that they just gave me 600 months. Or my best friend that went to trial with me got a life sentence. Or my daughter is crying out to me, Daddy, when you coming home, can you come home now? And I can't. Like, so, you know, trauma from incarceration and uh, the justice system, no one is talking about it. And we're actually now in a position where people are being released. But released to what? So when they come home... We're looking at them like they're animals, but they've been caged like animals. No one has treated them as human beings, and then when they come home, they're still not treated as human beings. And we, we have to, I think, as a society, acknowledge that I mean, what you're describing, there, there's science to support mm-hmm. that the human brain is going to um, be changed from that mm-hmm. experience in, mm-hmm. in really mm-hmm. dramatic, traumatic ways. Mm-hmm. And... You know, uh, prisoners, human beings are going to leave prison at some point, and then we have to deal with that as a society. Mm-hmm. 